candidates who have been approved for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in the College of Arts and Sciences, please rise and make some noise. Woo! <laughs> Will the first row please come forward? Simon Fournier Lanzoni. Riley Edwards Freeman. Ya Ying Lin. Now, Lily Humber, president of the Associated Student Government, a graduating senior with an individual studies major in bioethics and a studio arts minor, will introduce the Val Victorian. Hi, everyone. You ready to meet the Val Victorian? Will Mr. Simon Lanzoni please come forward? From the heart of North Carolina, Simon Oliver Lanzoni is grabbing, graduating summa cum laude, having completed two majors, one in music and one in Italian studies, as well as a minor in studio art. Simon is an artist who combines visual and sonic art to create multi-sensory experiences, which explore central themes of the human condition, such as memory, language, and the fluidity of consciousness. He draws inspiration from his Franco-American identity a dual citizen who grew up speaking French in the home. During his time at Santa Clara, Simon worked with KSCU, the university's radio station, participated in the jazz ensemble, the SCU orchestra, the laptop orchestra, and beloved bands 3PM Oats and Happy Gaming. He thanks the unique environment cultivated at Santa Clara for his direction as an artist, which gave him the space to pursue multiple mediums of art and encouragement to explore the surrounding art scene. Simon was instrumental in the creation of the Student Art Gallery, in which students are now able to exhibit their work and successfully advocate for greater access to on-campus cultural performances. Because of Simon's tireless work pioneering the Free the Arts movement, students can now attend any on-campus theater, concert, or showcase at no cost. This summer, all have the opportunity to see his work, which will be exhibited at the Marin Museum of Contemporary Art. Following graduation, Simon will be conducting spatio-acoustic research on the Pantheon in Rome, Italy. His research will form the basis for an audiovisual art installation to be exhibited in the Art Arc Gallery in San Jose in 2025. Please join me in congratulating Simon. Good morning. Good morning. It is my great honor to address the faculty, staff, broader Santa Clara community of friends and family, but above all else, the beautiful and resilient class of 2024. <laughs> Our time at Santa Clara University has equipped us to move out into the world as contemplatives in action. First expressed in the 16th century, the Jesuit ideal of contemplatives in action continues its modern day resonances as each of us now heads out into the world on our own individual hero's journeys. Some of the most powerful heroes in the world, those who brought about sweeping social, political, and cultural transformations began their quests as seemingly average individuals faced with difficult choices. These heroes found the courage to institute change 
and understood that unexpected challenges hold the promise of self-discovery. The class of 2024's pursuit for higher education at Santa Clara has been rooted in the cur personalis of the individual as well as the well-being of our expansive community. We have striven for academic excellence while seeking opportunities to enrich the life of our campus and broader international network. To use the theoretical discourses of our classes as the framework for real world action. Along my own journey, there have been many people all over campus who demonstrated the university's mission, inspiring me to uphold our vision and to strengthen our values and purpose. SCU's distinctive learning environment has included guidance by faculty mentors, offering us not only expert knowledge, but also a lifetime of intellectual curiosity. My peers, you have bolstered my optimism about the great potential of our generation. Collectively, we have begun to question global norms and to recalibrate outdated social structures and binaries. Whereas past generations identified many of the social issues we face today, our generation sees the solutions and the actions necessary to bring forth lasting change. We see the colors of hope. Studying the arts at Santa Clara, I've experienced firsthand the direct impulse against complacency and movement towards action. This year, a new policy to ensure free access to arts events came about because of individual and collective advocacy. Remember, it is only through action that powerful and empowering change can come to be. Rather than settling for individual focused needs, Together, we have begun to lay the foundation for a life of prosperity. A balanced, peaceful, and thoughtful approach towards global health, with secure food and housing, and fluid access to natural and artistic wonder and cultural enrichment. Collaborative interactions, a spirit of inclusion and human connectedness. These are the guiding principles we must use to navigate the world. Russian painter and theorist Vasily Kandinsky once said that to create a work of art is to create the world. Today, we stand at the precipice of a new world, one that we will all create together. So I ask you today, what will you contribute as we move forward across this threshold from SCU into the world that awaits us? How will you confront your own fears and obstacles to shape your own hero's journey? In this quest, I challenge each of us, faculty, staff, and fellow students to always look for what is missing in our communities as a conscious and conscientious act of hope to build a better future. In doing so, we will create the equity that we all deserve and the freedom for everyone to pursue a life of purpose. As we continue to move forward in contemplation and action, I urge you to hold this hope and these aspirations close to your hearts and never let go. Congratulations to the class of 2024. I love you.
Thank you so much, Simon, for encouraging all of us. We're so proud of you and your classmates. Not only do you belong within the Bronco family, but you have shaped our community and made us a better place. Before we close our ceremony with the singing of the alma mater, I wish to thank our honorees for being here today. Thank you again to Justice Jenkins for your terrific commencement address. I want to thank the staff who have supported our students through thick and thin, and in particular, those who served as ushers and guides today. I would like to invite the graduating seniors to join me in thanking the faculty who have been your teachers and mentors, who have challenged and empowered you. Would all the faculty please stand? And finally, I want to invite the graduates to thank your friends and family, especially your parents who have been with you and supported you through your years at Santa Clara University. Would all the graduates please rise and give your parents and loved ones a hand.